Since well before dawn, Rhubarb had been trundling in and out of his house, throwing mysterious parcels into the bright orange rubbish skip he'd rented. The weighty packages thumped against the sides of the skip, and some extra heavy reading proved to be very noisy indeed, especially at that time of the morning. Mouse, brilliant rodent scholar from Sillycombe Valley, was out and about on the lawn doing press-ups and wondering what all the noise was about. When Rhubarb appeared at the door again, he looked dog-tired as he struggled with the very last bundle. Well, oh, that's it. The end of an era, he puffed and heaved the bag with such a final burst of energy that it sailed right over the skip and landed with a thump on the other side of the fence. Oh, that'll wake a lazy pose if anything does, scoffed Mouse as he handed Rhubarb a hammer and they chuckled off down to the shed to adjust the computer. Here, them bundles is bundles of books. The skip is full of books. Why is he throwing books away? Crowed Rookie, who was scanning the skip through binoculars. Good morning, bonjour, hasta la vista, etc., etc., jibber-jabbered rhubarb in all-over-the-place accents in no less than fumph languages as he and Mouse stepped from the shed. Here we go, said Mo. Another new crackpot idea coming up. While Rhubarb continued his speech in just one language, he announced that he had gathered together all the stories and all the facts in the world, and that he had stored them safely in what he called Megamind, his latest and very clever computer stuff, double saved, of course. He then went on to explain that Mouse, the famous computer engineer, rodent scholar, and cheese and line dancing artist of Silicon Valley, was an expert in Megamind software, and books were no longer necessary. Everything that had ever been in a book was now safe in the computer. Mouse? The need to hoard dusty old heavy books in order to read stories and learn facts is obsolete, gone. No longer needed. The new Megamind software has revolutionized learning. Well, I'm not sure about books no longer being needed, said Moggy Malone. But because I have a degree of intelligence, I do agree about computers changing the way we do things, especially Rhubarb's computer. And Poodle Princess agreed wholeheartedly. Thank you, thank you, girls. You are right, fluffed Rhubarb. We depend on computers, like mine, to unravel and unscramble the rambling gobbledygook which is spoken by some individuals who refuse, out of pure stubbornness, to recognise the value of computers. I do not agree, said Custard confidently. You are spouting rubbish. How can anyone learn anything without reading great tomes? Books, my friends, books such as this magnificent mind of information, he expressed with authority and threw down the hefty book with a thud, challenging Rhubarb and Mouse, rodent scholar, and their computer to a duel, a fight between the written word and the microchip. We take up your challenge instantly, sir, scoffed Rhubarb and reached for the book. Ah, 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 naughty, naughty, the book is mine. The computer is yours, said Custard. And so, close to blowing a fuse, Rhubarb turned to Mouse and announced the Megamind duel. And may the best brain win, he huffed, and turned on his paws and returned to his shed. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, Rhubarb announced with great confidence as he stepped into the limelight. Welcome to Megamind, a battle of wits between Custard a mere mortal who has only recently read his first book, and the dreaded power of my computer. Custard sank into the blatantly uncomfortable chair, while Mouse, rodent scholar, went into the shed, jumped on the mouse wheel to boot up the computer and unleash its intimidating knowledge. The battle was about to begin. Moggy Malone had agreed to set the tests and ask the questions on the strict understanding that there was to be no mucking about. While Poodle Princess had prepared a delicious spread of Marlebone jellies, chocolate fish guts, and loads of brightly coloured fizzy fantastic drinkies. Bluebell rang a silver bell, and Megamind began as Moggy presented the first question. Question one. What, 
What is it, Mouse? Asked Rhubarb as Mouse rocked back and forth on the mouse wheel. It's the disk drive, whispered Mouse. A disk drive? inquired Rhubarb, getting himself into a spin. What's wrong with it? It's got the wo wo wobbles, explained Mouse, just as a terrible growling noise started up as the hard disk broke loose from its bolts, drilled right through the computer, up through Rhubarb's prized dried onions, and out through the top of the shed like a mad circular saw. The garden animals went wild with laughter. Custard stood up and claimed the Megamind Championship and Rhubarb stared daggers at Mouse, Rodent's scholar, who was searching wildly through a well-thumbed book. What now? demanded Rhubarb. Uh, it's the instruction book, squeaked Mouse apologetically, and Custard claimed victory over the computer and invited everyone to refreshments under the old conquer tree. Are you joining us, Rhubarb, darling? asked Poodle Princess. <laughs> or are you otherwise booked? for the evening, scoffed Custard. <laughs> Whiz, the home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s and all your favourite kids TV characters. Now let's find kids TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz, that's how easy it is.